Hello, my wonderful learners. Today, we're going to start with week two with our new theme, Sharing Our Planets. Let's get started. We are going to start with what is a resource? A resource is something we can use to make our lives better. The earth has many resources that benefit us. We call them natural resources. As we all knew, last week we took about the differences between man-made and natural resources. Today we're going to continue about what is natural resources, what is renewable, and what is non-renewable. We will be able to classify between renewable resources and non-renewable resources. Now, some of the resources we get from Earth are the following, as you can see, water, air, sunlight, soil, plants, animals, rocks and minerals, and fossil fuels. Now, um, we will go to our next slide, which is natural resources, reduce, reuse, recycle, and rocks and minerals. When we talk about reduce, reuse, recycle, we are talking more about how can we save up our natural resources that we have around the world. Now, as we just talked about, renewable and uh, renewable versus non-renewable. What are renewable and what are non-renewable resources? What are examples of renewable resources and what are examples of non-renewable resources? Now, some natural resources can be replaced within a few years or within a human lifetime. These are called the renewable resources, resources that we can, with, that we can replace some, such as trees, sun, wind, and water are examples of renewable resources. They are resources we most likely will not run out of. Non-renewable resources, they cannot be replaced at the rate they are being used up. They take hundreds, thousands, and even millions of years to be made. Once they're used up, they're totally gone. Some examples of non-renewable resources are fossil fuel oil, natural gas, and coal. So as a small uh, revision, renewable resources are resources that we can replace within a few years. But when we talk about non-renewable resources, we cannot replace them once they are being used up. Okay, I will show you an example of um, renewable, non-renewable resources. We have renewable energy. We have over here as well, uh, we have over here the, uh, the types of non-renewable resources energy, such as fossil fuels, such as coal, such as natural gas, and so on. Okay, now I put some questions that I want you to think about. When we talk about Earth's resources, why do you feel like Earth's resources are important to us? How do we use Earth as material? How are we supposed to be using our Earth material? Now, Earth material used for making products, such as, for example, oil, wood, plants, soil, animals, um, uh, clay, copper, those are Earth as materials that we usually use when we are trying to make a product. Now, which Earth material is used to make electrical wires for homes and building, iron, coal, copper, or diamond. I want you to think about it and to please write it in your UOI copybook. Which material is used as a source of heat, something that will make us, that we will need it, especially at this period of time that winter is coming, to help people keep warm when it's cold, iron, gold, diamond, or natural gas. Which material can be used for building uh, buildings and fuel? Copper, gold, gasoline, or wood? And which is Earth's material is best for building structures that support heavy weights? Iron, wood, copper, or plastic? I want, to, I want you to answer all those questions in your UOI copybook and bring it to us once you are done. Now, always remember that it is very important for us to conserve the resources that we have on our Earth. I, I hope that you like this lesson, and I will see you in our next lesson. Thank you.